Percent. Percent is uh, uh, probably one of the most confused math topics in the world. And we're going to start simply with what does the word mean? Percent means per 100. So anytime you see a percent, like 7%, you can go ahead and say, well, I know that that percent piece right there means over 100. So 7% and 7 over 100 are exactly the same. And if fractions suck, go ahead and change that to a decimal. We know we go top divided by bottom. So it can also be written as 0.07. It's as simple as that. So let's say I've got 42%. We could write that as a fraction, knowing percent means over 100. We could divide top divided by bottom and get 0.42. There's the, the first step to the math always. Notice that once I changed it to the over 100, that percent sign goes away because the percent sign and the over 100 mean the same thing. So we don't keep both of those. So what in the world does percent mean though? When I'm talking about, and let's, let's imagine a, a string, I'm gonna draw a line there's a line and if i talk about a hundred percent of the line that means all of it so next time someone says hey make sure you're given 110 percent you can't give 110 percent a hundred percent is the whole thing so what's half of it well you probably just rolled your eyes half of it is 50 percent 25 percent is a quarter which is why our 25 cent piece is called a quarter. We know all of those things, but when we start switching it up and doing the math, we forget to think about the answers that we're getting. Let's say that you're asked uh, to calculate 11% sales tax on a purchase of $39.98. How do you do that? Every time you're working with percent, even if you have no clue what else to do with the question, start by going 11% means 11 over 100. So when I work with it, I'm gonna use 0.11. You're going to need that number, start there. Now, we're looking for 11% of 39.98, oops. This of in the middle between the percent and the number almost always means multiply. So 11% we know is 0.11. Of means multiply. Stop using an X for multiplying by this point, by the way. Use some brackets because we're going to be using X's to solve equations and those are going to get confusing. So I find out that I get 4.3978. Now, since this is money, right? dollar sign sitting there. I know this is going to be dollars at the end as well. Dollars are always written either with no decimals or with two. If you have decimals after the decimal point, you're going to put a dollar sign in front. Dollar sign never comes last. And you're going to round it off to end up with two. Now, in this case, this seven is going to force that nine to get bigger. Nine becomes 10, which interestingly enough, pushes that three. Think of it this way. The seven is making this 39 become a 40. So there's one of the most common situations with percent. The other most common one you use probably every day and just don't think about it. What percent is 15 of 30? Now this has got words in it, which throws people off. As soon as you see what percent you know we want to know what in the world over 100. We don't know that answer. This is what we're trying to figure out. Now, this is where I said, hey, we're going to be solving equations and using X's. Let's go ahead and do that. What percent is, is generally an equal sign, 15 of 30, or you'll sometimes see it as 15 out of 30. That means 15 out of 30. 
this is just like you got a, a test back from your teacher and written at the top is 15 out of 30 and you're going yeah but what percent did i get well before we do any math here looking at this you can see 15 is half of 30 you know you got 50 percent but uh, let's look at how how we would actually solve that if i was just giving you x out of 100 equals 15 out of 30. Anytime we have one fraction equal to a second one, we can use cross multiplying to solve. So we're going to go one direction and get 30x equals go the other direction, 1500, divide by 30 to get x by itself, and we find out x is 50. There's another way to solve percent. Now, most important when you're working with percent questions is to keep your brain involved in terms of estimating what kind of answer am I expecting? Put it in your calculator and this spits out 5,000%. You don't write that down on your page. You can see 15 is half of 30, so you know you're going to get 50%. There's the two most common uh, percent questions. Uh, if you have something more specific you want me to do, give me a holler.